as you have already seen our topic and uh, i think that's what brought you here uh, the cure metro rail and and have no kathmandu has soft soil and it's in nepal seems like it's a joke no it's not a joke we are taking it seriously here and uh, do you think it is possible are you also curious to know uh, metro rail is feasible will it be geotechnically feasible will it be economically viable uh, much of the developed countries have already made it possible so why can't we uh, i would be a layman in front of you professionals to tell about uh, history and how other continues have been uh, we are not uh, and uh, that part and i'm sure you are excited as much is that we have Grazi organized a webinar on research basics and presentation skill development by Dr. Meeper Sir and just response was I'm expecting same here also. Uh, I would like to express my gratitude to the Chief of Department of Various Government and uh, Non-Government Organizations. I can see here uh, their representatives, respected uh, professors, uh, ex-committee member of Nepal Geotechnical Society, Nepal Geotechnical Society. Nepal Geotechnical Student Society, uh, senior, senior and classmates. And I would like to address uh, everyone. Uh, now, on moving on, uh, let, let me introduce Mastola, our senior, who has been working on this project. And, uh, and for in introduction part, I would like to hand over to Mr. Pawan. Mr. Pawan, are you there? Uh, uh, I think you have to unmute your poor. Sorry, sir. Thank you, Anu. Namaste. It's me, Paul Babu Bastara from Nepal Geotechnical Student Society. Thank you, everyone, for being here this afternoon. Today, we are pleased to welcome Dr. Binod Amate, sir a very special guest and speaker in this webinar. Let me introduce about Dr. Amatya. Dr. Amatya is currently serving as the principal geotechnical engineer at Arcadis, a global design and engineering and management consulting company. Dr. Amatya is a consulting civil engineer, Metro Rail Advocate. Dr. Amatya from Patan, Laritpur and civil engineer from Institute of Engineering, Pulso Campus, has successfully paved his academic journey to a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Cambridge, one of the oldest and most prestigious university of the world. In between this, he has done his master's degree in ground engineering from Asian Institute of Technology, Thailand, and PhD from Tokyo Institute of Technology, Japan. He has more than 20 years of industrial and research-based experience in the investigation design, monitoring and management of wide variety of civil engineering and geotechnical projects, as well as very much large amount of railway projects, such as high speed to Northern Line extension, several London Underground Limited Station and upgrade projects. Since long, Dr. Amati is advocating for the development of the Underground Metro Rail Station in the Kathmandu Valley. Today, he will be sharing with us his expert opinion on the tunneling and underground metro station in Kathmandu. He will be sharing with us the public feedbacks of the several presentations he has done and several papers he has published within Nepal and abroad related to Kathmandu Metro Rail. He had also supervised students of Warwick University for their master's projects on the development of underground metro station in Kathmandu. It's our great pleasure to share that myself, Pawan Babu Mastala, and engineer Avinas Aryal are also being supervised by Dr. Amatya. In this meantime, I want to share and my express great deep gratitude to Dr. Amatya for being our research supervisor and deep respect to our coordinator, Associate Professor Dr. Indra Acharya sir and Mandip Sivari sir for motivating and inspiring us to work for Metro Resource. With all this, I request all of us to give our full attention to Dr. Amatya and help me in welcome him to start this awaited presentation. Welcome, Dr. Amatya, sir. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Good, good, uh, good morning from London and good afternoon to Nepal. Um, afternoon. So, uh, thank you for organizing this program to uh, particularly um, NGSS and NGS. It's very appreciable uh, that um, you all came uh, together to host this program. Uh, so I'm very privileged to present my work uh, to you all. And I hope uh, by this process, we will gradually build momentum for uh, development of Metro Rail in Kathmandu. Um, yeah, as we discussed today, I'm going to talk about tunneling and underground metro path for Metro Rail system in Kathmandu. So in this talk, um, first of all, before I start talk, uh, you know, as an international consultant, uh, we have a practice of doing health and safety talk um, at the start of the talk. So as coronavirus is going around, I, um, I suggest you to, um, you know, uh, obey the government's request, stay home and just go outside whenever extremely needed. And if we go outside, maintain two meter social distancing. Um, I could see a bit less practice of that in Nepal. Uh, and if you go in market, do not touch animals or anything in the area they stay. Um, you know, and cover your mouth, um, use a mask, uh, or particularly if you have to cough and sneeze, definitely use hanky or your elbow. And if you're going outside, you know, frequently, um, don't forget to wash your hands. And as we are locked in home uh, for a long time, uh, don't forget to look after your mental well-being. So in this talk, um, I, I will talk briefly about the current state of transport in Kathmandu Valley and uh, how we can develop metro rail in Kathmandu. And for that, I will talk about how we can perceive underground metro and how to develop metro vision for such development. I will talk about the ground condition in Kathmandu Valley and how we could do tunneling and develop metro rail in such ground condition and some R&D work done for metro development. Uh, uh, and on top of that, I will also discuss about some you know, project cost and time. So let's go to Kathmandu Valley. So everybody can hear, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. 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 So um, you know, Kathmandu Valley is not a very big space. It's just about twenty-five to thirty-five kilometer wide, and um, let's let's enjoy this. Uh, you know, lockdown and photographs of Kathmandu. You see, these are some nice photographs I could see in the internet. So this is Mighty God Mandala. You know, it's a lockdown. It's a green, clean, and beautiful. Such a colorful photo. So this is Tapatali Junction. See how calm it is. Uh, this is Jaulakhel Junction. So this is Tirpureshwar Junction. It's wonderful. I'm enjoying these photographs. So this is, you know, newly widened Babar Mahal Baneswar route. This is newly um, completed, um, you know, Kalanki Junction. So this is the horizon of Kathmandu in this lockdown scenario. It has, you know, it, it's less polluted at the moment. So we have a nice picture. So um, let's go to um, Darwar Square. I'm not sure my movie clip will work. Let me try. Um, maybe I'll skip. This is the Darwar Square um, movie clip. I'll skip that. However, if we see our city grains in detail, our historical areas are, are squeezed. So for example, this is Patan, Patan uh, medieval palace area. Darwar Square, it's squeezed in our concrete jungle. 
You see, this is the monumental um, world heritage site, stupa, Bud Bauda stupa. It is still, you know, it's going to be lost in this concrete jungle. So, you know, our historical value of our valley, our city, is, is vanishing day by day. And whole valley has been concrete jungle. And such a, um, um, how do I say, um, it's just a sprawl, urban sprawl. See, people are traveling um, with difficulties, right? These uh, tiny vehicles, lots of people. Um, this is what we have faced, and this is what we are going to face after this lockdown. You see, this is the photograph um, near the Vrikuti Mandap area. And our streets are full of um, minibus, microbus, taxis, right? And, and tiny vehicle taxi, this mini uh, microbus can accommodate 15 people while 25 people are traveling there. You know, uh, cram, it's basically, um, you know, in this, particularly in this uh, coronavirus time. Now, I, 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 I'm struggling to imagine how this transport system and traveling will work. You see, people are struggling desperate to travel and you see um, you know from from developing developed country point of view traveling like this is is health and safety risk and not allowed um, you know uh, abroad but this is what happening in Nepal in, in in everyday life so realizing this government has introduced the green vehicle Saza Yatayat a big bus I I hope this has helped to some extent. However, I think these Sada bus, green bus are still countable. So, um, our streets are traffic jam. Traffic jam. You see, in the, in the rush hour, I think the speed of our vehicles in Kathmandu is probably seven kilometer per hour. And you can see motorbike everywhere. So if we see the transport statistic of almost one third of the vehicle in Nepal is in Kathmandu Valley. So wherever you go, traffic jam. So realizing that government um, took initiative to widen the road. So roads are widened here and there. Amit is calling me just a minute. Hello? No, sir, sorry, it was mistake, sir. No. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, everybody is hearing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No okay, so the roads are widened. Yes, can you? This is the, um, the ring road, Southern Beat. Um, this is um, the again the uh, um, Bobermal uh, Kotesar uh, route, and this is Kotesar Surya Binayak route. So roads are widened; they are now like six lane, eight lane, and and our rivers, our streams are squeezed. You see, this is the Dovikola River, um, passing through uh, the heart of the city. And they are squeezed, roads are side by side. As a result, you know, this is also creating flooding problem because, you know, the flood, the river simply cannot cope with this um, certain amount of flood. So maybe even in the flood in one in 10 or one in 50, um, you know, we are getting flooding because we are narrowing down the roads. Likewise, you know, to widen the road, government is encroaching our history, you know, this uh, old, old settlement. So these buildings are probably, you know, maybe 50, 100 years old. And the sake of widening the road, uh, these, is, these, you know, um, heritage building, I would say, are vanishing. And we are making concrete uh, buildings. You see, this is again, the same picture telling the same story. So road widening scheme in in Kathmandu is a threat to local residents and 
it is a threat because it is displacing them and their, their native lands are threatened. So there are lots of protests. So that shows that these road widening schemes have poor planning, poor management of stakeholders. So lots of protests, lots of protests happening. Stop widening road of the city built hundreds of years ago unlawfully in the name of guidance, guideline. So Kathmandu road widening scheme is also a threat to national heritage. So this picture clearly expresses that, that you know, problem we have. So to solve all these problems, Kathmandu needs a metro solution. And if we see our city grains, you know, our historical landmarks, our roads around the city, they are really poor land. So, so widening road in such environment, you know, it, it, is, it will create displacement and that's not the solution. So to keep the city moving, Kathmandu needs an underground metro system. So the underground metro is the future of Kathmandu. And government is talking about, you know, some metropolitan government is talking about building a monorail. For example, you know, this is the pictorial expression of that. And I believe monorail, monorail will not solve the problem of Kathmandu's transport. So if we see the transport capacity of various modes of transport, for example, shuttle bus, you know, um, maybe it can carry up to 3,000 people per hour per direction. Sometimes we can hear about the cable metro system that probably can take 2,500 people per hour per direction. You know, they also talk about having BRT in the ring road. You know, BRT system could probably manage 8,000 people per hour per direction. Whereas monorail could be maybe 4,000 to 7,000. You know, um, uh, there is also a light rail which can carry up to 15,000. But my view is Kathmandu needs a metro system which can carry 25,000 to 60,000 people per hour per direction. This is the metro for now, for future, and for next generation. So not just for, you know, few years. So Kathmandu needs metro rail system. And for that, I propose a Kathmandu metro map for the central area. So um, this is the map covered within the kind of a ring road area. So the idea is here, uh, you know, the, the, um, the red line, the circle line is basically almost like a ring, a current ring road alignment. And here I said that these blue and green lines are the cross rail of Kathmandu. And these networks should be built with 25,000 to 60,000 passenger capacity per track per hour per direction. So if we see that map in a Google a map person, the, the line goes like that, the route goes like that. So basically the idea is to have nine major underground station within the core part of the city. I would like to highlight here the nine because, you know, building underground metro station is one of the most expensive and complicated tasks to do. So um, this number should be a kind of optimum number, uh, then that will make the system um, operable at the meantime system is affordable. So in that sense, I believe nine major underground stations are here. Um, and if we see uh, the whole metro system in terms of Kathmandu Valley, this is the map I have proposed. There is um, a valley line going outside the suburb part of the valley, which is, which is golden line here. So if, if I see this, uh, my proposed metro network in a whole, you know, bird perspective view, the metro uh, network will look like this. And if we see this metro map in terms of municipalities boundaries, 
uh, the metro map looks like this. And I believe having a metro network like this, this will integrate the municipalities, 18 municipalities we have within the valley. And I believe these municipalities are not connected at the moment. They are not integrated. They are disintegrated. To go from one municipality to other municipality, it's not easy. Sometimes we have to come to central and go. So I, I think Kathmandu need a 20 years well vision. It's, it's, it's a broad vision uh, an idea how to how to bring you know the public transport system rail network system to solve that in the in the context and while we think about the metro net network um, we should think in parallel with the the you know the national rail network that government is thinking to bring so this should go in parallel the metro development should be um you know integrated with the idea of the national rail network likewise there's lots of talk going on about the potential link between india between between china and nepal and nepal and india so we need to bring that perspective into account while thinking about metro as well so in general thinking about developing of metro system in Kathmandu, the metro rail can be developed in three ways one making tracks on the on the surface called at grade or uh, underground system like the picture here at the center or the elevated system called skytrain today uh, my focus will be predominantly in underground system i advocate that we need underground system at the core part of the city for example this the um, ring road part the core part of the valley and some part of the Bhaktapur core area. So this is an example here. So outside these, um, these red line, uh, basically it could be elevated uh, and inside that will be underground tunnel. So this is an example here. So the train is coming from outside the core part of city and went inside the city underground. So in the, in the outer part, core part of city, we can build a metro line either on surface, like the upper figure here, or elevated system um like a skytrain system figure in the bottom right and this is another example how metro and the uh, how rail metro system can be built and the suburb part so how to build underground metro rail in Kathmandu ground condition can we really build it many people you know, uh, particularly non-engineers, uh, you know, say, you know, Kathmandu ground condition not good, water table very high, uh, there are earthquakes problem, blah, 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 and it's, it's, it's not buildable. So let's discuss on, on how to build metro in our ground condition. So as you know, Kathmandu was a lake thousands of years ago and you see because of the plate tectonics activities the water from the lake gradually drain out and this is the valley habitable place now and if we see this um, geological detail of Kathmandu valley we can see you know the fluvial deposit fluvial deposit is more like a um, river deposit in the upper part, northern part of the valley, while southern part is lacustrine deposit. Lacustrine deposit is, is basically because of the lake sedimentation process. So it's a quite dynamic environment there, you know, thousands of years ago, the river activities took part in the upper part, northern part of the valley, while lake sedimentation took part in the lower part of the valley. So if you see the cross-section north-south of Kathmandu, we can see sand, 
deposit, as we say, the fluvial deposit, river, river dynamics, while in the southern part is a, a lacustrine deposit, clay deposit. This cross section also demonstrated that. And if we see the cross section of valley east to west, we can see here, you know, these these peaks, you know, the Pasipatinat and Bodanat is a wall heritage site sitting on top of hills. And in between that we have silty clay, clay silt deposit. So if we did see in detail the boreholes of various locations, basically we can see five, ten meter ground is a kind of mixed type of ground, sand clay, sand clay. Maybe it happens because of the river um, rivering process and the lake sedimentation process happen intermittently, you know, hundreds of years. And below that, we can see uh, lake deposits and clay deposits. And if we see in detail at the top layers, top five, ten layers, see how 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 heterogeneous they are. Basically, Kathmandu soil, you can see lots of pottery industry we have in Kathmandu. If you go in Bhaktapur area, you can see lots of pottery industry selling these uh, clay pots. So if you see Kathmandu soil, basically you can mold Kathmandu soil, Kathmandu clay by hand. Maybe, if, you know, as a geotechnical engineering talk, you see the strength of Kathmandu soil. Kathmandu clay is probably around 30, 50 kPa. Uh, so you can mold the clay by your hand. While you know London clay, I'm trying to scratch the London clay by my nail. Uh, and I was struggling, right? So London clay strand varies from 50. It starts around from 50 and goes up to 150 and even 200. So you can really scratch, you know, maybe this clay block has the undrained strength of about 100 kPa. And, uh, Kathmandu and the whole Nepal lies in the seismic zone with, you know, the peak ground acceleration with 10% probability, uh, we have PGA of about 0.5. So in such environment, how to build metro, how deep it should be, how, how big it should be, is what we need to figure out. So when we build underground tunnels, it will called some ground settlement. So building tunnel is all about settlement management to bring the settlement to an acceptable limit so that we can build safely underground and overground. So this is an example. So if you have tunnels here, the ground settles like that. If you build tunnel with shallow depth, the ground settlement will be, surface settlement will be like that. And if we have a very shallow tunnel, there will be more settlement. Likewise, if we have a tunnel, bigger tunnel, it will create more settlement, more settlement. So basically, we need to find out a right diameter, right depth, so that settlement at the surface is acceptable. So let's talk about um, TBM tunneling in Kathmandu ground condition. So I'm talking about now some R&D work we did for this um, underground tunneling system in Kathmandu. So 2018 was a very fruitful year for us. Uh, uh, I managed to have a, a kind of um, a group bringing in uh, Warwick University, uh, my current employer, Arcadis, uh, along with um, Institute of Engineering and uh, two local consultants, multidisciplinary Nepal and Iteko Nepal. So by this consortium, we managed to do um, MSc project in Warwick. So um, 2018 batch, 13 student work uh, in a three in three groups to carry out studies about tunneling and underground stations in Kathmandu ground condition, and for that. Warwick University professor also visited Nepal and um, had a very good um, collaboration. So the idea here is to have, you know, to build underground metro in the central part of Kathmandu. Basically, the idea is to have portals, portals at this start location. Portal is a location where 
we launch tunnel where basically tunneling starts. So it's something like that. So this is the portal where tunnel is will be launched. So this is the kind of um, the profile um, Warwick uh, student developed. This is the profile of the Kathmandu line from Kotesar to uh, Kalanki. So um, and, and the tunnels are sitting around, you know, 25, 30 meters below the ground. But we have some pinch point. For example, this Vishnumati River is a pinch point where the tunnel cover is a um, bit shallow, maybe like, uh, you know, about 8, 10 meters. See, this is, this is the, this is the Vishnumati side. See, this is the cross section and this is the plan. Vishnumati side, the, the metro station here in New Road and metro station here in the um, Kalimati uh, Festival Market. So to connect these two, um, the, it passes, tunnel passes underneath the Bismati River, and that is the point where there is the pinch point. So in general, the, um, I perceive twin tunnels of, you know, 5.5 to 6 meter diameter, and depth, you know, maybe 20 to 30, 35 meters below the ground. So if we see tunnels in international context, you know, uh, London is building Crossrail. Crossrail is uh, 6.2 diameter. While if we see the existing uh, tunnels for metro, underground metro here, you know, Jubilee Line is uh, 4.3 meter diameter. Victoria Line is even smaller than that. That's why they call here tube. So the railway car just fit inside the tube. And that's why it's a tube. So Jubilee line, you know, is about 25 meters below the ground. So uh, these uh, tunnels can be built by using tunnel lining. See, these are the tunnel lining here. So, you know, the tunnel lining, um, Maybe we need about five to seven segments to build about, you know, half, five and a half to six meter diameter tunnel. Uh, and it's a precast tunnel. It can be easily cast outside the, um, you know, uh, uh, site and, and installed there. And, and these tunnels will be watertight. We, we need a, a kind of gasket system. You see, this is the black stuff here. These are the rubber gasket that connects with each other and, and create a watertight scenario. So uh, Delhi Metro is uh, some very good example for us to uh, learn because um, you know, it's, it's a neighboring country. So in, in Delhi Metro, if you see this section here, you see the Delhi Metro is around 15 to 20 meters below ground and their tunnel diameter is 5.8. Um, and, and they have also used segmental lining, uh, bolting and gasketed. So, um, so what type of TBM machine do we need to build um, tunnels in Kathmandu? You see, this is the tunnel boring machine. It's a very complicated device, complicated tool. So you see this, this uh, I'm not sure the, my mouse moving you can see. Can you see my mouse moving the screen? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can see. Okay, brilliant. So you see, this is the tunnel lining, uh, segmental lining. Um, we have so a, as it gradually excavates the ground, it moves ahead, and the piston is resting on this on this uh, tunnel lining. So, so it push ahead. By, uh, by a support on the tunnel lining segment. And once it's enough excavated, like you know, excavation is half meter or one meter done, this piston will uh, get off and its uh, segmental lining will go there. So this is a quite uh, sophisticated device and a safe technology for tunneling. So in, in Kathmandu ground condition, for tunnels of 5.4 to 5.8 meter diameter, I believe uh, we need TBM of maybe 6.3 to 6.7 meter diameter. 
And, um, you know, uh, if we see the ground condition north south in, in, in the southern part because of our lacustrine deposition, it's clay dominated, northern part is sand dominated. So it's the ground is a bit mixed. So the southern part ground condition for that ground condition, we need earth pressure balance machine, earth EPB PBM, in other words, while in the southern part, you know, ideally we need slurry TBM. We can order TBM on the, based on the type of ground, but TBM machine is very expensive to build. So um, just to have 10 kilometer tunnels to TBM will be very expensive. So the research shows that off pressure balance TBM still can be used, but we need to do some you know, ground conditioning. We need to use some uh, treatment measures um, during TBM uh, and, and that will allow to use uh, off pressure balance TBM for throughout the route. So this is the TBM from uh, Peri Bawai Diversion Project. So uh, we have, within the national context, we have the experience of TBM now, but in, in a, a rocky ground condition, not in the soft soil condition. So this, this is the example of cross rail. You know, cross rail is like almost 100 kilometer long, more than 100 kilometer long. Route built in London is on, uh, it's still not complete. See, this is around 20 to 30 meters below the ground. And for that, they use two types of TBM, mixed seal TBM and hot pressure balance TBM. They have 7.1 meter external diameter TBM, six number of EPB TBMs for tunneling through clay riverbed deposit, and two numbers of mixed seal TBM for tunnels in chalk. So chalk is kind of, you know, um, um, it's, it's not soft soil. It's a kind of um, soft rock, I would say. <laughs> so if we see the cost of TBM, you see the brand new TBM could cost six to nine million uh, pound. Or so it's something like uh, nine, six to nine million is, um, is something like up to, how to say, one Arab right? Half Arab to one Arab Nepalese currency. And, you know, uh, TBM can be bought in second hand as well, but maybe we need to modify lots of things on there. But basically, this is just to have some idea how the TBM cost. So these are, these are for the main tunnels, tunnels running um, east, west, or north, south for the railway tracks. And while we build underground metro system, we need to connect these two tunnels, eastbound, northbound, eastbound, south, sorry, eastbound, westbound, northbound, southbound, these tunnels to be connected by cross passages for emergency exit. Like sometimes, you know, one, one tunnel could be blocked, could be um, having fire for previous scenario. For safety purpose, we need to connect these two tunnels. So we need cross passages. So this, uh, in general, cross passes are proposed at every 500 meter interval. You see, this is the cross passes here, the blue tunnels uh, connecting the sky blue tunnels. And um, um, about three meter diameter internal tunnels um, mm -hmm. and cross passes tunnels are proposed. And for that, we cannot use TVM. For that, we need to use mechanical digging and uh, we need to use uh, SCL lining, spread concrete lining. You see, this is the making process. So the existing tunnel is partly dismantled. And you see, after excavation here, they put spread concrete lining. Basically, the concrete is spread. And after that, they put the secondary lining. You see, the inside one is SCL, and then the outside one is uh, the lining, permanent lining. So in, in ground condition of Kathmandu, because um, the soil and the strength of soil is not very high like in London, um, we need to do some ground improvement to do that. Otherwise, because the soil itself cannot support the excavation, it will fail quickly. 
So to avoid that, you see this is the cross section of two tunnels. In this um, is cross section. This my gray area shows that we need to improve that ground to improve the strength. You see that this is the plan view. For this tunnel, we need to improve about you know 12 meter wide, 9 meter deep and maybe nine meter long patch of ground, cube of ground, we need to improve that. And then we can dig this cross passage tunnel using these techniques. So for that, we need ground improvement and ground improvement by jet grouting is possible. So, you know, these main tunnels we can do by TBM very easily, but for the cross passages, we need to do some ground improvement and do mechanical digging. So let's talk about some um, stations. How, how to think about the stations. So I perceive here nine major underground stations. These stations will be multi-story, two to three, um, two to three story deep. You see, this is the metro station perceived by Vinod Sarma. He has um, recently completed his architect, bachelor in architect, uh, and he was um, he was doing this. He has developed this all cross section. He was contacting me that he would like to do um, uh, work on Kathmandu Metro, and he he very passionately did this. I'm I'm very um, lucky to have you know <laughs> uh, such a kind of contribution. So um, this is the central Drikuti Mandap stations. So everything is built underground. But for local stations, we can build either enlarging these tunnel or enlarging the running tunnels, or um, or building a kind of basement and connecting two tunnels. See, this is the example here. So, you know, these are some um, pictures from London. So this, this is the Canary Wharf station. It's simply like this, uh, you know, the basement here and connecting uh, tunnels at the right side, left side. Some multi-story uh, basement for uh, train stations. So idea is to have a station here in the, in the Banisor area. You see, this is the new international convention center. There is some space. So probably this this yellow patch would be could be a space for future underground stations. This is the cross section here. I'll show you a big, uh, movie here. Sorry, this movie clip is also not working. I have to change my computer and 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 sometimes movie clips are not supported. Sorry, I cannot show this one. <laughs> so basically, in 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 Banisar, um, area, uh, the idea is is to build a underground station using diaphragm wall. Diaphragm wall is like a concrete uh, wall, concrete panels. You see, these are the concrete panels built. Um, uh, you know, number two, number three, number four, and then then build in in between that. And the byproduct of that is you see these these are the finishing wall. This is how in the Banisar ground condition, probably we can build metro stations. So let's talk a little bit about metro station, metro station and local points in relation. So um, the idea is, you know, the metro station can function in a various way. 
it can transform the cities. It can, it is just not a junction. It's, it's a kind of a business hub or it's kind of a commercial hub as well, right? So, so you know, this is an example of a loving mall. So imagine, let's imagine this is a loving mall. Uh, it, so this loving mall is sitting on top of the underground station. So below the ground, it's underground station and above the ground is basically a, a hub, a business complex or a departmental store. In, in that way, you know, um, we can revitalize the local economy at the meantime, generate revenue, generate um, um, a fund to develop Metro. So Metro station, it is about compactness, efficient use of urban space. It's about developing above and below ground. So rail station is not just a rail station anymore. It's a mixed use development. It's a retail, leisure, commercial space. You know, this sort of thing is massively implemented in Hong Kong. So the idea is to have a central station at Brikuti Mandap. You know, see in the Brikuti Mandap is a, a Brikuti Mandap park. So idea is to have an underground station there. And if we build that, underground metro station can serve the various things here. You know, the campus is there, national convention center there, Tudikel there, uh, banks in this side, Singhadarwar in this side. It's such a central location and it's still public space there. So this is, uh, this is the King's Cross station in London. I simply imagine that stuff, stuff of that start, that sort of station there in in Birkutti Mandat. You see, this is a King's Cross station. It's a huge concourse uh, built with lots of um, um, uh, commercial uh, shops as well. So an idea here is like if a station comes in Lagankel, how Lagankel can be modified, regenerated is an example here. So uh, imagine here is a station here, then how we can, um, we can revitalize Lagankel area for an example. But we need to remember that when we modernize the any places, we should not forget the, the heritage site. Otherwise, it would be like a road widening extension problem in Kathmandu and stakeholder management. So we need to conserve, like in, in Lagankhel, there is, um, is a, a, a party where Kumari comes to grace the, um, the chariot, or Machinana chariot festival. So that's sort of thing. In, in this area, there are some ponds, you know, hundreds of years form, probably uh, regeneration can can uh, revitalize those area and build a nice park so people can come and enjoy. So that sort of thing is not there at the moment. These ponds are is ignored completely, right? So Metro is just not about transport. It's about the re regeneration of the area as well is the idea. So that sort of ideas worked in many places within the valley. So how to think strategically to develop metro in Kathmandu? So Kathmandu line, there are basically five lines. So we need to do a transport study to figure out which line will have how many passengers per day. So finding that we can prioritize which line to build first. But just looking in this, in this diagram, I believe, you know, this green line, Kathmandu line will be a major line as it can connect east to west part of the city and is, is predominantly, um, you know, uh, connecting the major hubs, major settlements. So we need to do a kind of opportunity profiling, you know, which line will create more opportunity? Where are the opportunities? Can we connect those opportunities building the line? And also where are the risks? Which one is the most expensive to build? Which one is less expensive to build? 
So that sort of analysis we need to do and then figure out which line to build trust. But in general, looking in normal term, in general term, looks like the east-west line, Kathmandu line from Banepa to um, Kangkot could be um, the, you know, one to be built and passed. So if we have a pilot scheme of east-west Kathmandu line, well, it's about 36 kilometers elevated as well as on the ground, and it could cost about two and a half billion US dollar. So if we see the north south line, pattern line, which is 25 kilometers, including underground and elevation, elevated or on surface, could cost about 1.75 billion US dollar. So just to have some idea, the, the study shows that the, in current uh, economic climate, the underground metro could cost about 100 million US dollars per kilometer per kilometer and um, um, maybe I think uh, elevated line could be half of that so in this table we have just the underground section so pattern line 12 kilometer is you know 1200 US dollar 200 million 1200 1, million US dollar so these are the costs. So to build the underground part only within the core part of the valley, it could cost about, you know, maybe 7 billion US dollar, you know, and the GDP of Nepal is about 30 billion. But we are talking about investing this money in maybe in a, in a long term, maybe this investment goes for, you know, five, 10 years. So how long, will it take to build metro in Kathmandu? And we are in, at the moment, project development and preliminary design or even advocacy phase. We have long way to go. Like Delhi Metro is 65 kilometers. They took seven years, three months for construction. It's not clear how many, how much, how many years they spent for um, planning, design. Mumbai Metro, six years for construction. Dubai Metro, nine years for planning to construction. So to build Kathmandu Metro cross rail that is north, south and east, west line, pattern line and Kathmandu line. How many years probably we need? And if we build the whole network, which is almost 200 kilometer, how many years we need? You see, if we just think about the detailed design, say we agree on building Metro, we go to detailed design phase, in detailed design, there are detailed design, uh, there are business cases to be built, there are planning permission to be taken from the, the, from the local authorities, and uh, there are procurements, procurements to be uh, sorted to bring the right contractor. So there are so many things. So maybe to do these things, it will take few few years, right? So. And if we go in a construction phase, the study shows that just to build this, you know, this Kathmandu line, east-west, 36.5 kilometer, it could probably take five years. And to build this line in five years, we have to work in a war scale. We have to build in a, in a strategic way. We have to manage uh, building underground stations and tunneling in parallel. So that sort of thing uh, are there. So even five years is not a big time to build, you know, uh, tunnels, uh, underground line in the congested city. There's so many things to be taken into account. So to build Kathmandu Metro, we need a master plan. We should not be thinking uh, in a piecemeal basis. For example, government is thinking, you know, railway department is thinking for one line, Investment board is thinking about other line. Uh, metropolitan government is thinking for the monorail. These are so much, you know, segregated thinking. They are sort of piecemeal. This will not bring a good solution for us. We need a master plan for rail development in the Kathmandu Valley. And metro development goes in parallel 
So metro development is not just about rail development. It should be about integrated transport, how we can connect rail with the bus network, with the cycle network, and probably cable car network. I could see lots of cable car possibility outskirts of the valley. You know, so um, we need to integrate those. And as I showed for the log and field regeneration, we need to bring that sort of regeneration in multiple locations in the, in the valley. And, and also again, metro development should go in parallel with housing development. That will bring lots of uh, funding for the project. And also metro development should go with heritage preservation because Kathmandu is a historical city. We should not destroy that. Rather Kathmandu Metro underground system could preserve that historic value. And that's why we need that. And uh, for these things, we need to do lots of research and development. We need to find out appropriate technology, appropriate solution in our context. So to solve these all issues, I believe government need to set up Kathmandu Metro Rail Development Authority. There is lack of authority at the moment, and that's why separate organizations, individual organizations are doing things independently. They are not coordinated. So one organization experience is not used for the other organization. So all are learning by doing and inventing the wheel uh, again and again. And we need to empower the academic institutions like I Institute of Engineering um, and do lots of research in sort of in this sort of development. For example, in, in, in IOE, we can do uh, ground engineering urban tunneling research. You know, we have architecture department, they can do urban regeneration and planning. Uh, they can do uh, transport planning, transport economic studies, planning policies, development acts. These things, academic institutions can work to, to bring appropriate um, technology, appropriate um, context for us. And that's why uh, we are having an effort to do some study and you know uh, Pawan and Avinas is contributing on that so in that sense you know we have a future stars here probably when the metro will be built um, you know these figures will be leading figures so thank you uh, Pawan particularly for taking active study hope Avinas will come back and continue so to to make the Kathmandu livable city, we need metro. With the current way of evolution, Kathmandu won't be a place where we can fulfill our potential. The development of Kathmandu Metro Rail could reinvent and regenerate Bali, and that could help to make Kathmandu new, and that will help to make Nepal, modern Nepal, new Nepal. So building Kathmandu Metro is a sustainable solution that can enhance the quality of life and that can change the economy of our valley and that will change the economy of the country. So Kathmandu Metro Rail is not just for us, but for our children and grandchildren. So costs involved in construction of Metro should be taken as an investment. People say that it's expensive, we don't have money. You know, this is an investment, investment for generation. So we need to work together to bring Metro Rail in Kathmandu. So I need to thank many organizations. You know, Archidis is my current employer, um, giving, still giving me an uh, opportunity to work on this area. So I need to thank Archidis as well. And I need to thank several organizations. For example, my previous employer, Halcro, CSTM, uh, my um, contributing partners, for example, multidisciplinary consultant, Itiko Nepal, of course, uh, Tribune University Institute of Engineering uh, is giving opportunity to carry on the research work right now, as well as in past working with Warwick. You know, um, there's so many organizations has helped to reach this work to this stage. So thank you. So this ends my talk. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Vinod sir. Thank you. Uh, it's, I think it's very impressive and we, we are really motivated. And uh, I think uh, it's all 
it's all dedication is needed complete this project we have some question and answer uh, let's go to question and answer session hello you know sir you there yeah yeah i can i can hear you uh, देख Uh, okay, let's uh, see. Yeah. Uh, Sri Ram Dakar. Okay. Hello, Sri Ram. Hello. Sir, yes. hello. Dear, dear. Thank you. Thank you. Insightful articles, research papers, presentation. I'm really. Um, here they. I got some sort of passion for like. मेट्रो रेल डेवलपमेंट को डिपर्टमेंट अफ रेलवे स्टडी फिजिबिलिटी स्टडी ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ट्रावल डिमाण्ड फोरकास्ट थी कति हो रिफर कर मैं ट्रावल डिमाण फोरकास्ट एटा जायका मिलेर स्टडी जायका मिलेर स्टडी कोईका हो कोईका को हे जो जायका स्टडी कुन कोडोर में प्राओरिटी आईन कति पैसेंजर होने स्टडी हेरा थे मैं तर मेरे आर्ग्युमेंट के अब तो स्टडी में चाह करेट कंटेक्स मेरे कि करेन्ट कंटेक्स में करेन्ट सीनारी में कति पैसेंजर कह कति जब मैं भन्न खोजे के हमी मेट्रो थिंक कर रिजेनरेशन कसरी कर सकता तो नया नया ठावर कसरी लियान सकता तो जस्तु अब फर एक्जापल मे देखें जो मेट्रो गए गोदावरी जोइन गए गोदावरी में मे बी एटा चाह अब चाह हाउसिंग प्लांग आए रे गोदावरी में एटा चाह स्टेडियम डेवलपमेंट आए रे गोदावरी में चाहे अब स्टेडियम फुटबल स्टेडियम हो प्रभावली फुटबल स्टेडियम और क्रिकेट स्टेडियम ने है बनायो कसो अपर्चुनिटी क्रिएट कर इसलिए कति पैसेंजर जेनरेट कर थिंकिंग आक अभी तो अंटेक्स में मैं पैसेंजर स्टडी भाषा अब तो पैसेंजर अब मेट्रो अनाने वाले हमें स्टार्ट करे मेट्रो बना अब भन न पांच देखि दस वर्ष अंटेक्स में मैं देखे मेट्रो एवं लाइन बनाने अलग बनाने वाले डिसाइड गये तो बनने बेला में रन होने बेला में मेरे विचार में मे बी सात आठ वर्ष लगे सात आठ वर्ष में हम मेट्रो पैसेंजर हम सीटी को सीटी को स्ट्रक्चर कसो हो तो चीज प्रोजेक्शन देखे छेस्टली सर सर मप्लिमेंट कर स्टडी में कई खाले नहीं एक्जिस्टिंग रिंग रोड को सीनारी भि को मत स्टडी हजार एक्जैक्टली सर ने कर जो वाइडर रेंज में काठमंड बनीपा जोड़ने आउटस्कट जोड़ने अरुपरी को सबर्ब्स न्यू डेवलपिंग सीटी जोड़ने प्लान जरूरी जब समय हम मेट्रो काठमंड को रिंग रोड भिरोर मत समझेप्ट मेट्रो सक्सेस होते पैसेंजर डिस्टेंस कवर कर मेट्रो इफेक्टिव होते हैं कि मेट्रो ने मेट्रो ने होल नेटवर्क कनेक्ट कर दूर पर्चा भोलि मेट्रो गए चाह अब 
kire major railway line sanga jodnu parcha so that passenger sabai yo sabai idea ke bhane passenger pani lyaune ho ke haina aba koteshwar bata kalanki jodda khiri kati nai passenger auncha ra whereas banepa jodda khiri banepa ma hub banauna milcha haina bhane pachi banepa chai aba chai thankot bata chai nadunga bata banepa chai maybe in half an hour ma pugcha bhane ta banepa ma manche haru kina kaam garna jadaina that sort of radical thinking is important uh, when we think about um, metro rail okay? so metro rail is not just about uh, transport it's just not about rail it's uh, uh, it's about reinventing our city okay so uh, thank you you related study ma hami society of transport engineers nepal pani as a get garera jointly agadi badna interest ल तपाईले पनि अब ट्रान्सपोर्ट स्टडीजहरु गर्दिनु पर्यो ट्रान्सपोर्ट प्लानिङ ट्रान्सपोर्ट इकोनोमिक्स हैन अब अब मेट्रो बनाउँदा खेरि कति फाइदा हुन्छ बस बस ट्राफिक ट्रान्जिट बनाउँदा खेरि कति फाइदा हुन्छ कति बेफाइदा हुन्छ यो चीजमा अब तपाईले पनि एडवोकेट गर्दिनु भयो भने पब्लिक लाई अलि बढी अवेयरनेस आउँछ हैन अब बस ट्राफिक बस ट्राफिक ट्रान्जिट बनाउने भन्छ अब बस ट्राफिक ट्रान्जिट बनाउनलाई अब ठाउँ पनि चाहियो अब बस ट्राफिक ट्रान्जिट मे बी रिङ रोडमा बनाउन सकेला होइन तर बस ट्राफिक ट्रान्जिट त कोर एरियामा जान सक्दैन जस्तो इस्ट वेस्ट अब जस्तो पलङ्की कोटेश्वर जोड्नलाई अहिले भएको बाटोकै स्पेस युज गर्नुपर्ने हुन्छ होइन त्यो हिसाबले अब बस ट्राफिक ट्रान्जिट कतिको भाइबल हुन्छ अब जस्तै फिलिपिन्स मनिलामा बस ट्राफिक ट्रान्जिटहरू युज गरेको देखिन्छ उनीहरूको एक्सपिरियन्स चाहिँ के भन्छ यो चिजहरू अब तपाईँहरूले चाहिँ अब हाइलाइट गरिदिनु भयो भने मे बी द्याट विल बी अ गुड कन्ट्रिब्युसन थ्याङ्क यू श्रीरामजी हजुरको क्वेसन त्यो एन्सर पाउनु भयो होला होइन हामी यसले अलिकति छिटो गरौँ त्यही भएर हामी एटेन्डेन्सले जस्तो रेज ह्यान्ड रेज गर्नुभएको छ उहाँहरूलाई मैले नेक्स्टलाई अलाउ गरिहालेको छ सर हेलो 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 बिमला हेलो एक्चुअली म बिमला म बिमलाबाट एक लगइन गरिरा छु अहिले तर एक्चुअली मेरो नाम त सबिन हो हजुर म सबिन हो म सबिन सिंह म अहिले करेन्टली या करेन्टली म अहिले मेट्रो मै काम गरिरहेको छु यहाँ जापानतिर र मैले प्रोजेक्ट गरेको चाहिँ जकार्ताको मेट्रोमा 3 वर्षको जति काम गरे र जसले चाहिँ मैले डिजाइनदेखि कन्स्ट्रक्सन फेजको जुन काम गर्ने बेलामा हामीलाई चाहिँ लागेको थियो तिन वर्ष जति चाहिँ फ्रम डिजाइनिङ टु द कमेन्समेन्ट थ्री इयर्स लागेको थियो फर द प्रिन्डरी दे टुक लाइक अराउन्ड फोर फाइभ इयर्स फर द प्रिन्डरी बट फर द होल कमेन्समेन्ट दे टुक अराउन्ड सेभेन इयर्स फ्रम द स्टार्टिङ फ्रम द प्रिन्डरी टु द कमेन्समेन्ट डेट बट माई क्वेसन इज लाइक as uh, you have said is it feasible to do with the metro or not because uh, when we see the transport in itself and the economy status will it be viable or not because uh, what we saw in the jakarta the minimum fare from one station to another station is around uh, 80 rupees per ride for per uh, kilometer actually you can say it like a per kilometer so will it be viable and considering all the electricity electricity expenses and all expenses will it be viable to ride those uh, rail with the 80 km 80 rupees per kilometer in our on the, uh, in our developing country so binti thank you for your question um it's a very right question it's a very um you know uh, rational question everybody asks and would like to know um um हाम्रो अब इन्टरनेसनल साथीहरू छ कि छैन मलाई थाहा भएन आई आई थिङ्क आई विल ट्राई टु से बोथ इन नेपाली एन्ड इङ्ग्लिस मिक्स छ के अब मेट्रोमा कुरा गर्दाखेरि कस्तो हुन्छ भने हामीले मेट्रो फेयर उठाएर रेल चलाउने सोच्नु हुँदैन कि मेट्रो आउँदाखेरि रेभिन्यू इज फेयर इज वान अफ द सोर्सेस ओके बट इट्स नट द ओन्ली सोर्स जब हामी पैसा रेभिन्यू उठाएर फेयर उठाएर रेल चलाउने कुरा सोच्छौँ त्यो कहिले पनि सक्सेस हुँदैन त्यसले 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 पुरै कभर गर्न सक्दैन प्रब्ली 
तेले ऑपरेशन चीज कवर करना है ना इन्वेस्टमेंट साइन कवर करना लाइक धारी था तेले मेट्रो डेवलपमेंट का दाखिली हाउसिंग डेवलपमेंट अर्बन रीजेनरेशन डेवलपमेंट कुछ आरोपनी पैरेलली जानू पड़ता है ना अब आज तो ती अब अब हाउसिंग डेवलपमेंट गए बनी हाउसिंग डेवलपमेंट ले पनी रेवेन्यू जेनरेट करता नहीं है ना हाउसिंग ले पनी अब ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ अब लैंड वैल्यू बढ़ सा मानचेरु बस में जानसन है ना आ त्यू पार्ट हो रुपन इंडिकेटेड होने पड़ सा अब जस्ट तो अब बनी नहीं मेट्रो स्टेशन आयो स्टेशन को माती हमें कमर्शियल हबर बनायो जस्ट लविंग मॉल बनायो बनी त्यां बट अपन रेवेन्यू आऊं सा त्यू पार्ट हो रुपन हमें इंटीग्रेट करने पड़ सा अनि थर्ड कुरा क्ये बनी थर्ड कुरा क्ये बनी अब मेट्रो मेट्रो में गवर्नमेंट को इन्वेस्ट होने पड़ सके मेट्रो में गवर्नमेंट को इन्वेस्ट किन्हों होने पड़ सके बने मेट्रो ले अब ये वोटा स्टडी लेके बन सके बने ये वोटा इंपीरियल कॉलेज को ट्रांसपोर्ट रिसर्च को ये वोटा टॉप में गए थे उन्हें लिखे बन सके बने मेट्रो बनाओ दाखिली 50 परसेंट फायदा मेट्रो Fifty percent फायदा चाहिए मेट्रो चौने लाये हों सा पैसेंजर भाई हो मेट्रो ए बाटे ए ए स्टेशन बाटे बी स्टेशन में जाने फ्यूअर की वजह जाने त्यो फायदा fifty percent हो बने fifty percent फायदा मेट्रो सुने ही ना सुने मेट्रो कई लिपन चार दिन आ रहे उन्हें ले तारा उन्हें ले fifty percent फायदा ले रहा हूँ सरे for example मेट्रो बनाये पची मेट्रो में हमें कमर्शियल हबर बनाए हों, जैसे अब चाहिए अब हमें शॉपिंग मॉल और बनाए हों, कमर्शियल हबर और बनाए हों, अने त्यो त्यो किसलिए जॉब जेनरेट करता है, तेले अपॉर्चुनिटी जेनरेट करता है, क्या हम बात अपनी प्रोडक्शन में सा, है ना क्या हम बात अपनी रेवेन्यू आऊं सा, तर त्यो रेवेन्यू इसलिए इसलिए अब इसमें अब इन जनरल अब वर्ल्ड को पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट में गवर्नमेंट ले सॉलिड दिनों को मेजर कारण क्यों नहीं होते इसलिए अब फिर एस वेल एस अदर वेज जस्ट अब ये वाला एग्जांपल सुनिए तो मिले हांगकांग में हांगकांग में ये वाला चाहिए बीस तलाक को अपार्टमेंट ही होगी अंचे बीस तलाक को अपार्ट 20 तलाको बिल्डिंग बनाया रहा यो बिल्डिंग लाइट है अब बताइए 70 80 तलाको स्काइस्क्रिप्ट बनाऊं ने रा त्यो पार्ट ऑफ़ दी मेट्रो डेवलपमेंट मंच आएंगे है ना अब 20 तलाको बिल्डिंग 70 तलाक 70 तलाक भाई पासी तेले कती रेवेन्यू जेनरेट कर सकते तेले कती बनायो त्यो पैसा मेट्रो Paid by the public. Ah, if our next question is that we have metro means that yeah, the future monsters. So I think that we have. So Mr. You can add question here. Ah, you, Doctor Binod Sir, like Jerry, Jerry, thank you very much. That is, there is some of the development and design of the company and the technobiome. So, what is the work of the diversity of the company? So, I have been interested in this question. 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 इस मात्रा ही आइले पिछले समय राय कुछ लाये अपने टेक्निकल चैलेंज निकाय देखने सा काफी लोगों वैली ये तो मेरे रामरो के लिए क्योंकि रामरो मार्टो था ही ना टेक्निकल चैलेंज नेगो टेक्निकल कराओ हम ही तो अपनी स्वाग करो ना गाना सकिन सा अने और को फिर ही चैलेंज चाहिए फाइनेंशियल चैलेंज सा खरबों � र और कुछ इस बात का प्लानिंग ये करा हो और उपरा नेपाल को प्लानिंग में जो करा समाय तो नहीं पड़ी हो अब जो होना लाये हम टेक्निशियन ने जब तो उसकी पने पनी गणित तो नेता रोल नहीं हो नेता रोल नहीं जो करा ले ठीक था ताई था बने पावना नवेशा हम ही करा है रो कई होने वाला तो इन सही ना जो 
तर हामीले यो बाहिर बोल्नु त मिल्दैन टेक्निसियनको अहिलेसम्म नगरे हामीले त्यस्तो पन्थाले पनि काम कसरी हुन्छ होइन अब त्यही पनि होप छ गर्न चाहिँ यो हामीले बस हामी जस्तै अब प्राइभेटिकहरूले जोस जागेर अझ सब विशेष गरी अब बिनर सरको ठुलो टेन छ यसमा सुरुआत गर्नेमा यसलाई चाहिँ सबैले आफ्नो आफ्नो ठाउँबाट पोजिटिभ हिसाबले समर्थन गर्न गर्नु भयो भने यो सफल हुन्छ भन्ने आशा गर्छु यति नै हो मेरो कुरा कस्तो भन्दा पनि जान जगदीश सर थ्याङ्क यू फर योर कमेन्ट म टेक्निकली एग्री गर्छु टेक्निकल च्यालेन्जेसहरू छ त्यसरी त हामी टेक्निकल अब आइओएले चाहिँ जियो टेक्निकल इन्जिनियरिङमा एमएससी स्टार्ट गरे किन गरे त भनेपछि यो टेक्निकल प्रब्लम सल्भ गर्नलाई हो नि त ग्राउन्ड एक्सपर्ट किन चाहियो त नत्र होइन त्यसैले टेक्नोलोजिकली प्रब्लम छैन टेक्नोलोजी छ टेक्नोलोजीले प्रब्लम सल्भ गरिन्छ गर्न सकिन्छ जस्तो अब टनलिङको लागि आजकल टिबिएम मेसिन भने भनेको जस्तो टिबिएम मेसिन किन्न पाउँछ टिबिएम मेसिनले त्यो दुलो खन्ने जस्तै टनल खन्ने हो वास्तवमा है अब मेन डिफिकल्ट पार्ट भनेको मेरो विचारमा मेट्रोमा मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट पार्ट प्रोबेबली अन्डरग्राउन्ड स्टेसन हुन्छ अनि अब कसको पार्टमा मलाई लाग्छ हामी चाहिँ हामी चाहिँ यो अब अनेस्टली अब चाहिँ फ्रेङ्कली भन्ने हो भने हामीले हाम्रो माग्ने प्रवृत्तिबाट चाहिँ माथि हुनुपर्छ जस्तो लाग्छ कि जापानले आएर जापानिज बस बनाइदिने चाइना आएर ट्रली बस बनाइदिने जब हामी मेट्रो पनि कसैले आएर बनाइदिन्छ भने त्यो मेट्रो सस्टेनेबल हुँदैन त्यो अब बाँदरको हातमा नरिवल भनेको जस्तो नै हुन्छ कि त्यो आफ्नो भन्ने नै नहुने रहेछ कि त्यसैले मेरो विचारमा मेट्रो चाहिँ अब एउटा बिजनेस मोडलमा बन्नुपर्छ मे बी मेट्रो अब हामीले चाहिँ अब चाहिँ पब्लिकबाट सेयर उठाएर पनि एउटा वान पार्ट अफ मे बी टेन पर्सेन्ट कन्ट्रिब्युसन गराउने हो कि एउटा बिजनेस मोडल आउनु पऱ्यो कि यसमा चाहिँ बिजनेस त्यसलाई चाहिँ बिजनेसको रूपमा रन गराउनु पऱ्यो बिजनेस बिजनेस अब कति वर्षको बिजनेस गराउने त इन्भेस्टरलाई त्यसपछि अब बिजनेस मोडल क्लियर भयो भने रिक्सहरू क्लियर भयो भने इन्टरनेसनल एसोसिएसनहरू इन्भेस्ट गर्न आइहाल्छ नि जायकादेखि लिएर युरोपियन ब्याङ्कहरूदेखि लिएर अब इन्डियाको कन्टेक्स हेर्ने हो भने त्यस्तै त भइरहेको छ नि इन्डियामा पनि सबै इन्टरनेसनल इन्स्टिट्युसनहरूले इन्भेस्ट गरेर त रेल मेट्रो बनिरहेको छ है त्यसैले कसको कुरामा चाहिँ मेरो विचारमा गभर्मेन्टले क्लियर स्ट्राटेजी ल्यायो भने अब चाहिँ सर्टन मोडलमा चाहिँ हामीले चाहिँ मेट्रोको लागि कस पैसा जोड्न सक्छौँ जस्तो लाग्छ मलाई त्यसैले अब चाइनाले आएर मेट्रो बनाइदिने इन्डियाले आएर मेट्रो बनाइदियो भने चाहिँ मेरो विचारमा त्यो मेट्रो हाम्रो लागि फिट पनि हुँदैन त्यो मेट्रो पाँच दस वर्ष चल्छ अनि त्यसपछि त्यो हाम्रो भन्ने पनि फिलिङ भएन त्यसपछि हामीले बनाएको पनि होइन हाम्रो निडसँग पनि कति कुरा मिल्दैन होइन र त्यसपछि त्यो चाहिँ डिसफङ्सनल हुन्छ र प्लानिङको कन्टेक्समा डेफिनेटली हामीले इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज अ पोलिटिक्स इज अल राउन्ड द वर्ल्ड जहाँ पनि त्यो कुरा फिट हुन्छ त्यसैले हाम्रो काम पोलिटिसियनहरूलाई कसरी लिटरेट गर्ने सो पोलिटिसियनहरूलाई कसरी लिटरेट गर्ने त भन्ने कुरा चाहिँ हामीले पनि गर्नु पऱ्यो हामीले अब त्यसैले अब पोलिटिसियनहरूलाई एजुकेट गर्नुपऱ्यो हामीले उनीहरूलाई पनि थाहा हुनुपऱ्यो र यो कुरा सम्भव छ त्यो भएपछि उनीहरूको एजेन्डामा यो गयो भने अभियसली आई थिङ्क होइन अब इट इज इट विल कम थ्याङ्क यू हुन्छ हामी एकदम छोटो छोटो गऱ्यौँ है डक्टर कृष्ण सरलाई मैले उहाँलाई दिएँ अगाडिबाट हेलो 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 विनोद जी नमस्कार नमस्कार सबै साथीहरूलाई हेलो कृष्ण दाई मेरो नाम कृष्ण यो पाने म चाहिँ एटकिन्सको जियो टेक्निकल इन्जिनियर हो युकेमै काम गर्छु कपल अफ थिङ्स आई लाइक टु कमेन्ट अन नट अ क्वेशन पर से ओके ओके द कमेन्ट इज कस्तो भने नि हामीले मेट्रो रेलको कुरा गर्दा फाइनान्सियल एस्पेक्ट एडभोकेसी एस्पेक्ट अनि आर एन डी एस्पेक्टहरूको कुरा छ एभ्री अर्गनाइजेसन एन्ड इन्स्टिट्युसन इन नेपाल ह्याज अ रोल टु प्ले Yeah, exactly. I agree. What is lacking in Nepal? Ma yaha basera ab Nepal ma kya hunda hai sa kya hunda hai kya ramro hunda hai sa kya ramro hunda hai na banne kya bansa 
कंडासेंडिंग कुरा गर्न चाहेको हैन कि नेपाल इन्जिनियरिङ एसोसिएसन ह्याज अ रोल टु प्ले इन योर प्रेसर ग्रुप हो या दे ह्याव अ रोल टु प्रेसर द गभर्नमेन्ट या दे ह्याव अ रोल टु प्रेसर द डेभलपमेन्ट अफ द कोड हैन अनि दे ह्याव द दे दे शुड also be part of this whole uh, integrated approach vinod you know, ji has been advocating for the last i don't know how many years often times it looks like uh, is one of those rabindranath tagore's ekla chalori story reminds yeah. me and really i really appreciate vinod ji's tenacity on this one uh, on the technological side of it technical side of it we can design out we are an engineers we are engineers we have can do attitudes so designing out the tunnel or stations we dosto suke environment bani i can think of two ways euta ke bani you can improve the ground improve the surroundings to suit your technology yeah or you can use the technology to suit your ground to a prozon sir फंडामेन्टल रिसर्च ऑन सोइल मेकानिक्स Yeah, we need to learn a lot about the constitutive behavior of Kathmandu clay. Yeah, we need to learn a lot about the stiffness, the earth pressure. Yeah, Kenot values. Yeah, these are all part of the design development. It takes a long time. Yeah, and you can imagine the institution like Cambridge and its contribution to the development of London clay and Cam clay models, and likewise in AIT. Yeah, Bangkok clay is now one of the most understood clay in the world, thanks yeah. to EIT. So yeah. we have to have that fundamental soil mechanics research in Pulso, or any doesn't have to be Pulso, yeah. any other institution. Yeah. Only uh, these things take time. Yeah. At a time, it feels like it's not going to happen, but but it's inevitable. It's going to happen. it has to happen there is no other way yeah so the thing is what we can do from each side what we can do from each institution individually collectively is the important yeah. aspect yeah research and development should be driven by the institution because a uh, construction and consulting companies cannot afford that side of the the development Yeah. and we need people like vinod ji who has been advocating for the tunnel for la- last i don't know almost a decade now <laughs> and i wish you all the best <laughs> and i challenge the professors in institute of engineering pulso and students to go back to your basic do some triaxial test <laughs> find out lambda kappa find out the straight path of the uh, kathmandu clay that will be really 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 important when the time comes let's yeah. all get prepared yeah some of yeah. us pressure the government some of us keep doing the research and development and we are heading towards the right direction thanks to binod ji and warik university uh-huh. and kudos to all of you that's all thank my comment thank you thank you thank you krishna dai thank you you know i really appreciate your comments and that is why you know uh, my little effort was to um to work with uh, institute of engineering for um the small research we can do in 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 the capacity we have you know we all are very busy with our day job um despite that we are doing that and in that sense uh, pawan babu bastola is actively working to finish his uh, research i think his his study will um will bring more findings on you know how how the metro goes how the um how how we can think uh, several things you know he is doing some some additional work um and some work basically he is trying to verify what i have said here but on top of that he is also doing some more work additional work to to explain things um so this 
thing probably will continue in future. Maybe there will be future Abhinas, uh, and and maybe um, uh, you know uh, people like you, Krishna Dai, can also support the institute and and uh, work from you know outside to support the institute. So in this way, I think we all can contribute. You know, I could see about, uh, you know, about 100 to 150 participants here. So the, we all have ability to participate in, a, in, in a some way. We are kind of piece of jigsaw. So we all have a ability to contribute, you know, and missing one, uh, you know, it takes time to find out that piece of jigsaw to give a picture. So let's say, you know, let's, let's work together. That's why. Right. And let's all Thank you. do we can what we can. Thank you, Binodzi. Every penny spent on infrastructure is two penny return. <laughs> yes, so we okay. have to think of that. In yeah. UK, it's 1.8. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's what they call it. Yeah. So like you have said, every penny we spend on infrastructure development, yeah. regeneration, employment generation, learning from the project, yeah. skill, upskilling our workforce, yeah these are all yeah. benefit to the country yeah so we should yeah. add all this one and forget about the, the general layman's concept okay yeah. from cut we could even up to yeah new road it takes 80 rupees i'm going to go by taxi it's not going to happen in in the in the long term yeah people yeah. will love mm -hmm. metro yeah. we have seen this around the world and yeah. it's the way forward yeah yeah, thank you. Thank you, Krishna. I really appreciate that comment. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Susa. Uh, we are short of time, and uh, let's go to the next uh, Next. Hello. Hi. Uh, thank you, Binod sir, for your wonderful presentation. No, you're welcome. Um, I completed my master's in transport engineering from UK Uni University of Salford one year ago, and I had done a project on the East West Railway of Nepal. Yeah. So my, my question actually was, we, we, we can see that the traffic of Kashmandu is already saturated, right? Yeah. And uh, with a growth rate of about 7% every year, um, yeah. rising and uh, as you said that there's a lot of time, you know, a lot of advocacy is required and a lot of uh, feasibility studies required. So can we wait for another 10 to 15 years and, um, and as the roads of uh, Kashmir is already suffering? Uh, or or do, you, do you think that uh, very emergency inter interventions like uh, bus rapid transit or great separated junctions and other flyovers are needed in Kashmandu Valley? I think... Uh... I think we, we need to have a kind of a three tier strategy. So the first tier is what we can do immediately. For example, you know, uh, in 2000, 2000, 2016, I, I, I was in Kathmandu to give a talk to SCAF um, uh, anniversary program. And there was a physical ministry, Ramesh Lekak, and um, he invited me in the ministry for a talk meeting and and he asked for the advice so you know I, I i said i'm not a transport expert but in general what i can see is we we need to have a three three tier strategy first tier strategy is to bring big buses and replace the micro bus right so that has happened to some extent i think and the second tier strategy is uh, how to how to solve like for example maybe uh, bus rapid transit or the, the great separated junctions like you know Kalanki these are coming, but yeah. these are, are not the ultimate solution, right? And yeah. to build metro it takes time, like you know as I said metro will take five to ten years, so um, so for that five years let's say if, if metro will be built in the next five ten years then for that next five years, we need intermediate strategy, tier two strategy to solve it. So these all are integrated. So, yeah. So thank you. That's what I, I so we, we need to work from now to bring Metro. So the Metro work will start from now, but say Metro will be ready by next eight years to run. Well, so we need to think 
strategy how to solve problem for next eight years. But the problem is we still don't know when government will be convinced that the metro will be um, coming. So at this stage, we need to have a huge scale of um, advocacy to convince the politician that metro is the only solution, only future for our you know, future generation. In London, they, they, they have perceived London underground 200 years ago. So we cannot simply imagine 200 years ago they started Metro. Right? <laughs> okay, that's it for her, my side. Thank you. Thank you, Vivek. Time or is it to the game? It's developed. You don't know. We're pushing interest in my between on the chat to my question of the more portraits are the house. Listen, my scans are the I would like to use the 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 chat mara Q a dui tama cha. The sir le question here they answer even on jaga. Okay, what am I sir? Just geotechnical reason we are lagging behind the subway development. Okay. Geotechnical reason much is subway development ko reason mo nae sakde na. I know geotechnical the yota yota span of component much hai ho. Span of major component bano na. I know. Ab. Transport planning, transport economics, of a key of a Sunday of a bar of Pandora discipline. So, many of that in London Underground Co project are coming with it. Bar of Pandora exporters, the same sound and vibration on the technical Kuragoni Ovani, I know of a same business case called Kupraunsa, Kismate of Amro of a engineering economics, I'm Lipo Atuni, you know, of engineering economics of Kuraunsa. You know, about saying elevated banana that he cut the poison answer, of underground banana that he cut the poison answer, of Kunsai Amurai Pidunsa, Panikuraru, our economics part of Bio, of a land planning Kokuraru Bio, Ani of a Kesa, of a transport planning by Alu, of transport metro banana Bilamata, I could transport like a so impact gods of construction could build a transport like a so impact gods such as like a city managed journey. Suppose one of elevated metro banana banana, you know, our elevated metro. I will say our banana or what the past they keep saying. I will say Mara's gun some elevated metro banana money. Sarlenko Batosa metro banana villa, my dual and tele kaidinsa. When you see the dual and my same transport solo for you, when it's a transport like also impact or so till a cottage loss create got so, you know, metro banana three kilometer eighty points a cotton to one in my Isab got it up Metro Bonaoni Bilamatis for impact Koti Hunsa. Suppose I am Lirata Pad Jamal Batas and Maras Gansko Batamas and elevated Bonana Kiri, Dil and Batok and Bondagar and Metro Bonana Kiri, this lit transport cost Koti Kiri Gorsa. And this was a metro Bonana Saka Bachi, our child and go Batam, Yakl and go Batos and elevated Metro Lake Hydinsa. One of which ultimately political Batu Tin Lane go now. And Tin Lane go Batona, Koti Parak Porsa. Each is a very aspect or such. This is our. अब मैले गरिराखेको काम त एउटा सानो कम्पोनेन्ट मात्रै हो भने पनि हुन्छ किन हामी स्पेसमा जाउ हैन अ अर्को एउटा भन्नु भएको छ उहाँले चाहिँ हामीले यो प्रेजेन्टेसन फाइल पाउन सक्छ भनेर भन्नु भएको छ के छ सर यसै प्रेजेन्टेसन फाइल म पीडीएफ गरेर दिउँला इफ यु आर इन्ट्रेस्टेड थ्यांक यु सर अनि प्रेजेन्टेसन फाइल चाहिँ अब अब पर्सनल युज को लागि मात्रै अस्मा <laughs> So our circular shape is easy to build, I know. Our actual TVM rectangular shape, square shape, so our circular shape is 
is most widely used. It's easy to build. Um, it's buildable. I know about the segmental lining tag 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 racket of Bonanza, eh? This is a circular Hunza tunnel of a cross passage tunnel, circular a Hunuports of Anitina, cross passage tunnel of a elliptical Bani Hunasaksa, of a square Bani Hunasaksa, eh? So about the cross passage of a exam of a exam Hore Matrimza, so a major of a rail Zani tunnel, a circular name. Ah, thank you, sir. So I go next question, sir. Uh, though we are aware of the EPM and slurry seal, we are not sure of the mixed seal PVM. Uh, please explain this in detail. Thank you, one other. Uh, you say our uh, alikari technical kura bhai, you know, uh, um, okay. in general, our uh, ground condition here is a TVM cost to select on a panya unsa. Our uh, mato bhai ko thama chine TVM, our balwa bhai ko zamin ma TVM alikati parak unsa. This is our ground condition. Here, just our since since I bought a very different diversion project. Ma, our rocks are there. You know, rock environment for TBM. TBM or Parakunsa. This is our context. Ma, I like Kathmandu context. Ma, in general, our predominantly clay depositions are tunnel Zani depth. Ma, or our you Marasgans area. Ma, sand deposit. Panita. This is our um scale project ma our the red TBM kinagaram subsai. P sadly oil is an idea as an EPB tunnel line, TBM line is gone, only to sign section by Kothamata, only cut the ground conditioning gorilla, uh to mix seal nolaikana. Uh EPB lines are only panicura resources the hints. Uh next question is for the Hale Gun of the metro rail regular alignment are there any challenges in construction and of circular alignment in metro rail like in top of us line no there is no any uh, technical challenges having a circular line of a of a to uh, segment concrete signal panel like for geometry of ice to geometry of ice calco technology ma of a to tunnel co tunnel lining geometric um, Calculation Gorilla, uh, but you Poneco just to lining one on a sucking saw, you know. It's really our curvature is not a problem. Yes. Uh, how can we make the government focus on this matter when what you just are lay out even one thousand by and a very good very good missing or I next uh, TVM induces vibration while excavation. So I would request you to let me know about dealing with vibration. Also, I would also like also I would like to know about shock absorption method while being underground. Last question, Bujena Maile. Uh no, uh, you zoom into your vibration shock also I'm using TBM Kondabani plus uh underground trends all the vibration of um vibration ounce ye to say of um Sound and vibration, but you could shoot any discipline. So, just I'm a ground subject. When I just say sound and vibration could shoot any export. So, to sound and vibration like a city managed gone, but you could have a haru. So, you know, just so of a construction map vibration. Uh, cost of unsa, but you could have exactly the Malay or Tatina. So, I vibration to part for him. So, just so of a vibration key issue could have got a city. I mean, in news map, you know, just so India, I say Delhi Metro, Le, Nepalese embassy map, vibration, boyo, noise, boyo, um, uh, embassy co building man, so on, 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 so अब त्यहाँ को ग्राउन्ड कस्तो छ के सब डिटेलले थाहा छैन तर इन जनरल मलाई लागेको त्यहाँ डेफ पुगेन के जस्तो लाग्छ मलाई तर देयर आर लट्स अफ टेक्नोलोजी टु टु डैम्प द वाइब्रेशन एन्ड नोइज हे त्यसैले अब त्यो टेक्निकल प्रब्लम हो त्यहाँ टेक्नोलोजी छ वी क्यान सोल्भ दैट त मैले एउटा क्वेशन चाहिँ
हेलो हेलो हरिराम नमस्ते वेलकम डॉक्टर विनोद अमरतेजी खुशी लगे अब यो तपाई को यो काठमंडू मेट्रो को धेरे पैला देखे जो करख टेक्निकली हर एक किसिमले धन्यवाद दिन चाहूँ मैफ को स्कैफ को प्रेसिडेन्ट हुआ खेल लगभग पांच वर्ष जो पैला प्रोग्राम में आएर कर दून भाई कंसेपचुअल थीभंदा अब अलग धेरे स्टडी रहो अब टेक्नोलॉजी को जीसुक समस्या भंजीनियरिंग रेक्नोलॉजी को सोलूसन भैई अभी इसलिए अगि भन्न भाई जस्ते हम एकडेमिक इंस्टिट्यूशन हम रिसर्च टेक्नोलॉजी इंजीनियरिंग साइंस सब ये इसक समाधान ल मुख्य कुरो फंडिंग ये ठूल समस्या तो होना नपर्ने हो तर हम देश को मुख्य समस्या चाहिए प्रोजेक्ट रामस न समस्या छा भा भटक ये भेरी बबई को टीबीएम प्रोजेक्ट जो बाहर किलोमीटर बाहर प्लस किलोमीटर को बने बाई दुवे मेरे कंसल्टेन्सी सीडीएफ नहीं सुपरविजन कंसल्टेन्ट अब सकिन लगे अब टनल तो पोहर ही सकि सक्या हो अब यो टनल को प्रोजेक्ट भी सकिन लगे हमी इटालियन कंसल्टेन्सी संग मेरे कंसल्टेन्सी सुपरविजन तेरे ये कर न सकने तो होना अब मैं लगे ये हम देश में एटा यो यो सो खोजे कुरा चाह हम देश को जस्त रोड भाग अब इकोनोमी को साइज अभी जो हम जीडीपी पर कैपिटा इनकम देखि लिखे अवर्नेंस को सब भाई ठूल कमजोरी हम गवर्नेंस को जो कमजोरी तस्त देश में अब यह टेक्निकली फिजिबल फाइनेंसिंग फिजिबल भारतीस इंप्लिमेंट कर न सकते इसलिए अब जो हम जस्ते अलग गरीब अलग अब थाउजेंड डलर को रेन्ज में हम पर कैपिटा छस्ते गवर्नेंस को समस्या गवर्नेंस को हम ठूल समस्या भर कारण यो मेलाम चीज अल ठूल प्रोजेक्ट रामस संचालन हो न सकते प्राइवेट प्रोजेक्ट हाइड पावर को तो भैरा तर गवर्मेंट ने करने प्रोजेक्ट हो न सकते यो सब भाई ठूल गवर्नेंस अंत गवर्नेंस भि ट्रांसपेरेंसी एकाउंटेबिलिटी को देखि लीर करप्शन को सब आँच है हम जस्त रोग भाग देश अरु देश में योजना जो अब बांग्लादेश हम सीमिलर पर कैपिटा सीमिलर गवर्नेंस को प्रब्लम करप्शन देख लगे गवर्नेंस देर आर सो मेनी इश्यूज अब तेरे यो समस्या यो राम प्रोजेक्ट हु ठूल प्रोजेक्ट इंप्लिमेंट कर न सकते को जस्ते सीचुएसन भर अरुण कंट्री ने कुछ गर अब नजिक इंडिया ने तो इंडिया को अब इट्स ए बिग इकोनोमी अभी ब्यूरोक्रेसी भेरी स्ट्रंग हम भाग स्ट्रंग ब्यूरोक्रेसी अब ब्रिटिश को पाला देखि नहीं अब श्रीधरन दिल्ली मेट्रो को जो सुरू करें श्रीधरन ने अलग इंडिया को हर एक मेट्रो में आई रखे तैंक टेक्नोलॉजी को बैकअप अब तैं अब अरुण कुछ करप्शन भेपनी टेक्नोलॉजी को बैकअप अभी वर्किंग कल्चर स्ट्रंग ब्यूरोक्रेसी कमिटेड ब्यूरोक्रेटिक लीडर्स अडर्स होना इंडिया को अब पर कैपिटा धे हाई न भाई उ गए तर हम जस्त देश अब अरु देश यो कर सकते कि उदाहरण केजर समस्या नहीं मैं ये गवर्नेंस लीडरशिप अब अब हे नो अब यो बेला में औषधी किन्न न सकते मानी उपचार पीसीआर रामस टेस्ट होने सकता छेन में भी लफड़ा भैर ये गवर्नेंस इज अ बिग पिक पिक इश्यू फर नेपाल कंट्री अब अफ्रीका में अथवा अरुण बांग्लादेश को बांग्लादेश में मेट्रो तो थे अब विकसित देश तीस लाख जनसंख्या भाग बड़ी भम रूल झापझुप मेट्रो बनाई हाल पैला बना थो अब कतिपय विकसित देश तीस लाख भाग कम जनसंख्या भाग उस में मेट्रो बनी सकता है अब तो अब जो अब ये दो लास्ट इयर कटार गए थे कटार में तो अब तीत जनसंख्या छाइन मतलब दुआ सीटी में तभी उ बनाने ताल सको अब अब गरीब देश जो अब धेरे जनसंख्या भापनी जनसंख्या ने रेली इकोनोमिकली फिजिबल भाइबल भाई बना न सकते सीचुएसन भाई 
यस्तो हाम्रो जस्तो रोग भएको अरु देशले कुनैले बनाउन सकेको अथवा बनाउन सुरु गरेको त्यस्तो के अरु छ भनेर अनि यसमा एउटा डिस्कोर्स डिस्कसन त्यस्तो के अ दाइले भन्नु भएको मलाई लागेको अब बङ्गलादेश नै एउटा राम्रो एक्जामपल हुन सक्छ हैन अब बङ्गलादेशमा पनि ढाका मेट्रो बनाइरा छ अब उनीहरुको कहिले सकिन्छ चाहिँ थाहा छैन तर अन द कन्स्ट्रक्सन छ उनीले इलेभेटेड मेट्रो बनाइरा जस्तो लाग्छ मलाई अब एशियन कन्टेक्स्टमा अब अब सायद जकार्ता अब जकार्ताको इकोनोमी पनि हाम्रो भन्दा ठुलै होला हैन अ हाम्रो अ यही टाइम अलि के भन्दै छ है अ जुन हाम्रो क्वेशन एन्सर सेसन मा जति पनि क्वेशन छ नि त्यो क्वेशन चाहिँ म हजुरलाई के टाइप गरेर कति गर्दिन हुन्छ कि अहिले अहिले नै त्यो सबै सकाउँछ हैन क्वेशन अब किन कति बजे नेपालमा छ बजे हो हैन हुन्छ क्वेशन टाइप गरेर पठाउनु भए पनि हुन्छ प्रोग्राम क्लोज गर्नु हो कि अनु बदन लाल सर हुनुहुन्छ वहाँको क्वेश्चन लिनु पर्ला वहाँ यो सेक्टरमा काम गरिरहनु भएको छ यो त्यही भएर वहाँको प्रश्न के छ त्यही सुन्नु पर्ला हस् सर अ वहाँलाई वहाँले हाजिर हाजिराइज गर्नु भएको छ हस् बदन सर नमस्ते बदन सरको माइक अफ भइरा छ मैले अनम्युट गर्छु अ भयो भयो इन्द्र सर नि बोल्नु भएको जस्तो लागेको छ माइक अन म्युट भइरा छ नमस्ते आए सब लाइक सुनने सा नमस्ते बदन सा अल्लाह बिनो जिलाई तेज धनिवाद फिर ये हमरो पुराने कुरा आ रहे हैं एक दिन वर्ष चुला है बसे हमी अब फिर ऑन वो तेज धनिवाद सा एक दिन पढ़ने कुरा हो थैंक यू अब नेपाल को कॉन्टेक्स में हमी सभी लोग बुझे का सोंग है ना यो कॉन्टेक्स में यो पैरेलली हमरो ट और को सही लॉट ऑफ कंपोनेंट्स है ना और जो बिना जिले बनने वाले वो करीब करीब पन्नो डर कंपोनेंट्स हैं जो पैरेलली जो कंपोनेंट हर लाय हमें ले अगरी लोगों ने सके ना वाने हमारे जो टाइम कॉन्टेक्स्ट पे जान सा तो हरे हरे कंपोनेंट में जैसे टेक्निकल इनपुट्स चाइन्स है जितने के लेवल को सही जो टा� काठमांडू में अथार उड़ा मिनिस्पेल्टी लाई तबाले कॉन्विंस करन लाई हर एक मिनिस्पेल्टी में गैर है गर्ने इस प्रैक्टिकली इम्पॉसिबल है अब काठमांडू वैल्यू अथार्टी था अब अथार्टी तो है मिकान सा ठीक अथार्टी ले ये लाई एक इशिम ले कोर्नेट गए भी होने से सब है अब तीसरे पैरालाइज सा � हमें लो यू बिग प्रोजेक्ट लाई लाओ ना लाई धेरे धेरे मुश्किल पड़ सा अब मैं मेलाम चीज को कुरा समझने सो 1988 में डिस्कवरी भय को सही प्रोजेक्ट मैं अभी इन्वॉल्व थी क्यों प्रोजेक्ट लाई लॉन्चिंग करता करते 2008 में पूजो जो ग्राउंड ग्राउंड ब्रेकिंग सेरेमोनी बनने शुरू भय को 2008 में वन्ने वन्ने पर सी यूज तो इस आपले से यो यो लेगल कंपोनेंट भायो अन्य पची से कंसेंसस बिल्डिंग बन्सन आ जिस पची यो यो हमें ले अब अथॉरिटी को करा गरी हुए ना मेट्रो रेल को अथॉरिटी करने हो कि कहाँ पर वैली करने सिंगल अथॉरिटी करने हो कि जिस में वो हेरिज़ इसको कंपोनेंट बिगले सा त्यां फिर बिगले किसी में कुछ सिनेर इन सालाय मौसम से रिक्वेस्ट कर सो है योरा योरा हमें सही फिटकार करने का रिकॉर्ड पन करने पड़े फिर शेयरिंग करने पड़े फिर और इक्कठे हमें ले ये लाइसेंस डायनामिक लेवल में अब कती फास्ट दंस आसो अपन हम आसा तो ये लाइ रेगुलरली योरा अपडेट कर रहे थे कि निकी इश्यूज हरो लायरा लाइ हमें लाइ � और कोई वाला सही अब लेगल एस्पेक्ट्स और रूल्स रेगुलेशंस और हम लोग कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ने कती लाय अलग और सा तो इस पर सी हम लोग डेवलपमेंट का तो प्रे रूल्स और सन में इन्वामेंटल कुरा और सन तीन लाय पे ने एड्रेस करना लाय हमें ले कसरी जाने में जरा ऐसे प्रमोटर है ना हमें नॉइज मेकर और बनो 
वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू लूज टाइम हम टेक्निकली टेक्निकली हम लंचिंग कैपेसिटी में पुगे डिफ्रेंट एस्पेक्ट गवर्नेंस को एस्पेक्ट हमें रोक्स लट्स अफ हर्डल क्रिएट हो अब अर्क एट डिजाइन को कंपोनेंट समय हमी हेन्डल कर सक्य कंस्ट्रक्शन मैनेजमेंट कंस्ट्रक्शन एस्पेक्ट में हम फिर फेलियर हो इंटरनेशनल कंट्रैक्टर आए पी उ सपोर्ट कर लोकल कंट्रैक्टर चाह चाह लोकल कंट्रैक्टर को कैपेसिटी हमें ठा उख बिजनेस प्रोफेसनल भाई बड़ी बिजनेस को एस्पेक्ट में बड़ी ध्यान दिशा है जो हिसाब से लट अफ अदर प्रिपरेशन वर्कस हमी अगड़ी आँच ये कुरा हमें अब अगड़ी लियाने बेला भेक जो मैं लगे साथी हाउ वी गो अहेद फरवर्ड वे फरवर्ड अर्क सेंसन जैसे लियान पर्ने टेक्निकल बाहे सोशियल इकोनॉमिक इन्वाइरोमेंटल एस्पेक्टर कसरी हम फोरम में अगड़ी कस लियाने रो इफर्मेशन सियरिंग नलेज सियरिंग राइडिंग प्रिंसिपल्स कस लियाने तेज हमी अलग हेन पर्च जो लगता मैं अब तो मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट पार्ट सायद हमी मेट्रो रेल को अथोरिटी को वन सोर्स हो अथोरिटी भाई हाकिम मेरे कुरा करने होने कि इन्फर्मेशन को सोर्स कंटैक्ट पॉइंट एवं पॉइंट वन विंडो हो जहाँ कि जहाँ कि हमें एटलिस्ट ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सीस्टम लिग्रेटेड एप्रोच में अब अब मे भू अट्रांसपोर्टेशन सीस्टम अब ग्रेजुअली बिल्डअप हो इंप्रूव हो डेवलप होने जा तो सब मेट्रो लाइन को कंसेप एस्पेक्ट में इंटिग्रेट कर अब बिहारती हेफाजर ले आ मेट्रो रेल कंसिडर करें कि वर्ष पीछे तो रूटर तो बेकार हो काम लगे तेस अमें जो जो कंसेप्ट कंसेप्ट सर्टिन सर्टिन भ्यू में राखे बिहारती फिडिंग एज ए फिडिंग पोइंट हो होना कैबल कार आए पी फिडिंग पोइंट होने मेट्रो रेल को अरुण अरुण कुछ किसिम को बिल्टअप भाई मेट्रो स्टेशन में फिडिंग पोइंट के हिसाब से भिजन राखे गयो हम अलग इन्वेस्टमेंटर से इंटैक्ट रह माइनर मोडिफिकेसन भूस न भाई हमें एवं रेल बना सीस्टम बनाए फिर अर्क सीस्टम आने के डिस्काउंट कर जैसे कि अब हम बाइर को बाटो तो डिस्कार्डेड भैन यो इन्वेस्टमेंट को क्योंकि हम भिजन पुगेन है अब एट अथोरिटी भर से हंड्रेड इयर्स को कस सोचने इस युटिलाइज करने कसरी हो सोच सोच सको भाई एडेड कुरा आँच न भाई डुप्लिकेसन रिस्कार्ड कर पड़ने ये भैल्यू लस होने जाने कुरा आँच इस हमें अलग सचेत भर अलगदी नहीं भिजन राखे काम कर देखि मैं थैंक यू हेलो अनुप को सुनिए ना आवाज अब हम सब नमस्कार मेशव शर्मा हाल चाहिए अलग मैनेडा सुनी रहे बिहान आलम राखे बिहान उठे सुनी रहे विनोद सर धन्यवाद विनोद सर हम फेसबुक में जिस मैं सर को न्यूज आर्टिकल पेपर पढ़ी रहा बाई प्रोफेसन चाहे मैं जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियर हो या कैनाडा में प्क्टिस कर भर्खर भर्खर अभी इंजीनियरिंग भाई आर्टिकल बड़ी जैसे इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट में कहीं कहीं लेखी रहो ते भर पर मैं धेरे ये टेक्निकल कुछ था नो कुछ में इंट्रेस्ट नहीं लग अब इसको मेन कुछ मैं लगे हाई एवं क्या तो होता धेरे कुछ आई सकता है डॉक्टर कृष्ण ने भी भन्न भाई मेन चाहे भोलि अब प्रोजेक्ट जानी भाई हमें डिजाइन करने भाई भाई फेज में पुग्खे हमें चाहिए धेरे जो पारामीटर हो सायद तो सोयल को पारामीटर होस् अथवा इकोनोमिकल पारामीटर होस् अथवा पैसेंजर को 
तब को फ्लो को पारामीटर हो अर अर सब पारामीटर चाहे कम से कम हम इंस्टिट्यूट हर तेज को बेसिक फंडामेंटल रिसर्च कर रेडी भर बस तो तब को प्रिलिमिनरी फेजम दु चार वर्ष तेल कम कर तो हम कहाँ छेन तो सान सान ग्रुप ने भी अथवा इवन मस्टर स्टूडेंटर भी अथवा कोई एट सान सान रिसर्च ग्रुप अथवा डिपर्टमेंट ने काम कर वेल डकुमेंटेड कर सको ठूल रोल होने लगे अर्क अब चाइन चाहे भाई में तो बहस कर जो लगे है जैसे अगर हरिराम सर ने भन्न भाई हम जस्ते इकोनोमिक कंडीसन मैं अब इसो हेद्दे अल्जेरिया में बने लगभग हमारे भाग दुई गुना तीन गुना बड़ी होगा जीडीपी है हम अब एक्स बाइस होगा उसको अस्सी पचासी कैसे बिलियन हई ते पे इक्वेटर में बंद इवन अभी पाकिस्तान में बंद है अब पाकिस्तान को जीडीपी बड़ी होगा तर सब कंडीसन ब्यूरोक्रेटिक इकोनोमिक सोशियो इकोनोमिक कंडीसन हमारे जस्ते हो तेस कारण अब अर डेवलप कंट्री में तो मैनाडा को एडमंटन भिटी में बस आओ आठ नौ लाख पपुलेसन छह मेट्रो है अज एक्सटेन्ड करते अब तो बार चाइन चाहिदा भाग चाइन भाई हो ते पे अरुण अब मेन एडवोकेट सर अलग एडवोकेट अल एग्रेसिव होना पे तो क्योंकि अल बड़ी एडवोकेट एग्रेसिव भलि लिशन अल पोलिटिशियन डिशीजन मेकर सुन भाई मैं नहीं हो मेरे सर लाइन राम प्रेजेंटेशन कर दून भाई में अब यह हम साथी स्टूडेंट साथी प्लस जियो टेक्निकल सोसाइटी को सर धन्यवाद दिन चाहिए नर्थ अमेरिका है धन्यवाद मेरे ये नहीं थैंक यू केशव जी अब डेफिनेटली अब यो होल प्रोग्राम नहीं हम अब स्टूडेंट विंग इनिशिएटिव कर चला हाई दिश इज अ काइंड अफ यू नो मर्निंग सोच द डे भाई जैसे है अब तेल अब या सो सब जियो टेक्निकल स्टूडेंटर ले मेट्रो डेवलपमेंट में कंट्रिब्यूट कर सकता भाई कुछ इसलिए क्लियरली देखा इसलिए अब आई रिक्वेस्ट अल जियो टेक्निकल स्टूडेंट टू थिंक यू नो व्हाट दे कैन डू फ्रम देयर पर्सनल साइड फर द डेवलपमेंट है अब एट सान पारामीटर एट मत निल दिए तो पारामीटर ने भोलि इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट में कंट्रिब्यूट कर तैयार काम अंडर इस्टिमेट कर जो अब पवनजी ने मसंग काम कर पवनजी को स्टडी बात धेरे कुछ निस्को फिजिबिलिटी स्टडी को एटा कंपोनेंट नहीं होगी अब अब कोई साथी अब काठमंडों को अब सोइल को अब कुछ लैब टेस्टिंग करो अब भोलि अब मेन प्रब्लम चाहे मैं देखे अब मेरे पर्सनल अब भ्यू भी होना सब अब केशवजी ने भन्न भाई जस्ते डकुमेंटेशन को प्रब्लम छ हमी का एकदम प्रब्लम तो Yeah, I'm talking with many people. Yes, that is my family. Okay. अब बीस सारे हम ही close गरों की आगे सारे एक बजन लगे गया के पाल में कती बजे लम्बा जी का तो question आई once again. एक छेन सर अनु भाई को एक उस इंटरनेट बा डिस्कनेक्ट भागन तो भर हमी प्रोग्राम अब यहीं सकू पर्च हो प्रोग्राम सकूल अगड़ी विनोद सर हार्दिक धन्यवाद दिन चाहूँ ये गरी अब यह उसको क्लोजिंग रिमाक्स दिन को लगी इस नेपाल जियो टी सोसाइटी का उपाध्यक्ष तथा जियो टेक्निकल डिपर्टमेंट का कोडिनेटर डॉक्टर इंद्र आचार्य सर अनुरोध कर वहाँ बा वहाँ ने ना कार्यक्रम को कंक्लूड करते इस धन्यवाद धन्यवाद मनदीप जी अब आज को यह कार्यक्रम का मुख्य आकर्षण हम डॉक्टर विनोद लाल अमात्यजी हो वहाँ टनेलिंग एंड द अंडरग्राउंड मेट्रो रेल इन काठमंडू हम प्रेजेंटेशन दूनभ इस मैं उसमें देखे आज ये उसमें जूम में एक सौ साठी भाग बड़ी पार्टिशिपेन्टर होते फेसबुक में धर फेसबुक लाइव में धर विशिष्ट व्यक्तित्व इसमें मैं सुरूदि अंतिम समय धर जस्ते हम विद्यार्थी जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग को विद्यार्थी भाई बहना जस्ते ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग जुनसुक अब धर विद्यार्थी भाई बहना जोड़ी भाषा मैं तो सुरूदि अंतिम समय हम इंजीनियरिंग अध्ययन संस्थान को पूर्व डीन राल नेपाल इंजीनियरिंग एसोसिशन का अध्यक्ष हम प्रोफेसर तीरत्न बज्राचार्य सर भी सुरूदि अंतिम समय उसमें हो 
जैसे हम बदन सर भुकलाल सर तस्ते अन्य प्रोफेसन हम जगदीश सर सर बोलि सकू है मैं थुप्रे प्रोफेसन स सब नमस्कार जस्ते जियो टेक्निकल सोसाइटी का हम अध्यक्ष प्रोफेसर नेत्र भंडारीजू महासचिव मनदीप सुवेदीजू जैसे केशव शर्माजी तस्ते अब यह जियो टेक्निकल सोसाइटी को स्टूडेंट विंग को स्टूडेंट सोसाइटी को आज को उसमें अनुप लमी छानेजी पवन बास्तोलाजी सुवर्ण सिंह रावत मबिन दाल लगायत संपूर्ण जियो टेक्निकल विद्यार्थी तब इनिशिएसन को लगी म हार्दिक धन्यवाद दिन चाहूँ रथम रथ साथ अब हम विनोद सर ने ठूल कंट्रिब्यूसन एटा वहाँ को नहीं ड्रीम प्रोजेक्ट भनऊ काठमंडू मेट्रो वहाँ के विगत दस वर्ष बाहर वर्ष देखि अगड़ी देखि इसी में लगी रख्वा इसमें अब हमें हम क्षेत्र सबले क्षेत्र सकदो सहयोग रो केशवजी ने भन्न भो अब चाहिए चाहिन्न भाव जिस चाहिए भाई कुछ हो रहा इसमें हम सब मिले यो अभियान सफल पार रहा मैं हम काठमंड मेट्रो प्रमोशन ग्रुप भाई हम बना ग्रुप को तर्फ बड़ी विनोदजी इसको हार्दिक धन्यवाद भी दिन चाहूँ साथ साथ ही इंजीनियरिंग अध्ययन संस्थान पुलचोक कैंपस ने यहाँ बार जो दुईजना विद्यार्थी जो काठमंड मेट्रो को बारे में यहाँ रिसर्च कराइ इसको लगी इंजीनियरिंग अध्ययन संस्थान पुलचोक कैंपस रेसली जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग प्रोग्राम को तर्फ यहाँ लूरी मुरी धन्यवाद दिन चाहूँ ताकि अब हम विद्यार्थी यहाँ को ये ऊबाट चाह जो अभी एकजना डॉक्टर कृष्ण नेपाली ने भन्न भाई यहाँ को रियलिटी जो हो ते बारे में हम विद्यार्थी जानकार हो मटो चिन्हन रल्टिमेटली अभी हम केशवजी भन्न भाई संपूर्ण तो पारामीटर हमें पैले नहीं सब कुछ रेडी कर बस्यौं पीछे डिजाइन फेज में जाना खेल अवश्य में हमी बेनिफिशियल होने ये भून विनोदजी यो अमूल्य समय उसको लगी धन्यवाद दीदी मोदी भनाई यहीं अंत कर हस्त धन्यवाद नमस्कार थैंक यू ओके बाय नमस्कार लर सब नमस्कार हाई तो सब को नमस्कार धन्यवाद उसको दुई घंटा भाग बड़ी समय बहुत एकदम हार्दिक धन्यवाद हम आगामी दिन में